Okay, to uh, communicate with this thing, you need a terminal server, and I found this uh, website, plugcomputer.org, to have a, just a ton of information. And the couple of programs that they suggest are Putty, which is a, a very popular uh, SSH program that runs in Windows and Linux and every, almost everything else. And I would suggest you download it and get used to using that you'll you, the easiest way to get in the pogo plug or the shiva plug is by ssh but uh, you need to set up a, a serial a terminal uh, serial connection to the shiva plug to communicate with its uh, with its uh, bootloader and such and so this tells you how to do that and there's also a command line version called uh, uh, Minicom, M-I-N-I-C-O-M, and it's uh, a nice program too. The problem I found with the with Putty is in the Linux version, I cannot get copy and paste to work on it, no matter what. It's it seems to work in Windows uh, with your certain mouse clicks and such. I cannot get copy and paste to work. And uh, if you're loading a bunch of stuff from a website or something, it it's sure much, much easier to use copy and paste than it is to type everything in with, a, with these real long strings and, and you know, one character wrong and it's, it's wrong. So this is what it looks like when you boot up the uh, Shiva plug over the terminal server. And <clears throat> it has what's called U-boot. Uh, as as the uh, bootloader, and uh, I found very many tutorials and suggestions and comments on how to work with all this stuff. Unfortunately, the uh, Shiva plug it uses Ubuntu 9.04, which is just great. Except uh, Ubuntu does not support the ARM processor, so there's no further version available past 9.04. And that current kernel in 9.04, with the copy that comes on the Shiva plug, uh, does not support my USB to serial converter cable. And I suppose you might be able to update the kernel on it, but I did not get that deep into it. Uh, I found this page on uh, Google Groups. It's actually a uh, the WVU Weather Station Google Groups group, and they have a lot of information on installing this on a Shiva plug. And so I went through this page and actually went through this, and there's a lot of suggestions on how to set up, how to fix some bugs and things that are wrong in the Shiva plug right out of the box, and it's a good idea to go through this and do those. And I actually went through this, and then I... Uh, installed WView with this method and it was quite torturous. It didn't work. I had to manually install most of the files on the thing. But I finally did get it going. And <clears throat> you have to be very familiar with the command line and, and know how to work that. And there's also some other suggestions on here like how to set the SD card as the root file system rather than the built-in solid state memory uh, because solid state memory has only so many writes to it and eventually it will burn itself out, wears out. And so if you use a solid state, or an SD card or MMC card that uh, you don't destroy the actual Shiva plug, you destroy an SD card over time. I don't know how long it takes. Some people say years and years, and you hear other people saying after a couple of months they went through a card. So I don't understand. But if it is on an SD card, you can just copy that card somewhere and keep it as a backup. And if something does happen, uh, your data wouldn't be current unless you back it up regularly, but uh, you would have a, a copy to just pop on it. And I went through this and actually installed WView on Ubuntu uh, 9.04 on the Shiva plug, uh, but as I said, the serial USB to serial converter would not work with it. So I decided to do some research and 
and see what would it would take to update it to Debian. And uh, this is some of the instructions that on how to make the SD card use as a root file system. And this is all on openplug.org. They have a much, much information on that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one thing they suggest before you do anything to update your, like to different distributions to see if the U-boot needs to be updated, and apparently it does need to be updated to the latest version. And uh, it shows you how to do this uh, on the Shiva plug if you're running a version of U-boot older than 3.4.19, which I was. You need to update it. And I did that, and it worked just fine. And I just followed the instructions, upgrading U-boot. Uh, But uh, I don't know if I wiped out Ubuntu 9.04 on it or if it just made it inaccessible, uh, but I could no longer get to the operating system, and I started to sweat a little bit, but the, the bootloader worked fine. So I just started to look and search and everything, and... and uh, I found a bunch of, of information which some seems older than others and and the problem with this new technology is it's moving so quick that that uh, some of this stuff is just outdated almost instantly and it, they have cautions and exceptions and saying these steps need to be updated and and so i was quite confused with all this i was able to update the u boot loader but as i was searching through stuff i found uh this information on a on squeeze plug. Now squeeze plug is a Debian installed version of Debian Squeeze, and I found this software. Let's see if I can find it here, and this is all Windows based. <laughs> on this thing called the Enhanced Shiva Plug Application Installer, ESIA. And I really didn't want to use Windows, but I went to this site to download the ESIA software. And uh, well, here's a website on all kinds of stuff about this Shiva Plug. And there's a squeeze box server that, that you can download and put on there to... Uh, to be uh, your music server. It's all set up all together, but I didn't want that. I, I wanted just uh, uh, Debian squeeze on it. But anyway, back to the uh, ES, uh, ESIA installer. When I went to download it, it noticed that I'm run, running Linux, and it had a Linux download. But uh, the download button here said AMD64, and I'm currently running 32-bit uh, Linux, Ubuntu, and I did not know this was for an AMD64. I wasn't paying attention. I tried installing it, and of course it told me right away that <laughs> it wasn't going to. So I started looking on the website, view all files, and under bin. I just picked the latest version, did just a lot of rummaging around in here and searching, and I found it for the Debian i386 version, and I used that. And this program is pretty slick. Uh, let's go back here. It's really easy to install. Just follow the instructions, and uh, you can get different versions of Linux or other operating systems that you want to put on the Shiva plug and this little program leads you right through it. You put it on a, a USB stick. At first the USB stick I was using, it kept having errors and I, I just it wouldn't work. So I had a uh, an SD card to USB adapter so I just popped a one gigabyte SD card or two gigabyte SD card into a 
a little USB converter and plugged it in, and it worked just really neat. And I could not find any more information about this program, and, and it just works really great. Uh, well, back to this uh, website where you get this image. So this is this is the ESIA uh, program. So let's go back to some of these other folders on here. And if you go down to distros, they have all kinds of distros. Uh, Debian Lenny, which is the stable current version of Debian, 9.04, and that's what came on the Shiva plug. I could have reinstalled that. Uh, Gentoo, uh, Fedora 12, and Debian Squeeze testing. So that's the one I wanted. So I put that on there. And I downloaded this and followed the instructions on uh, just in the program, this program right here, the ESIA uh, program. And, and it worked really nice. You decide if you want to put it right into the solid state memory in the computer, in the little Shiva plug, or if you want to install it on your SD card, which is the MMC. And you can also uh, update the U-boot bootloader right from here, which I already did before I discovered this program. But this program is really cool. It works really well. I put a couple different distributions right on the same um, USB sticker on that SD card that I had in the USB converter, and they all showed up on here. And you just select the distribution you want and install, and it worked just great. This is a great, neat little program that should be uh, touted more. The one thing about it, is there seemed to be a little bug. Uh, when it was installing, it uh, stopped right in here somewhere. Uh, maybe as even in initializing. The initializing was highlighted, and it said 3%. And <clears throat> and it just wouldn't go any further. And that seemed to be a bug because I just let it set for a long time and then reboot my Shiva plug, and it was all there. So apparently this, whatever is happening underneath this, is working, but it's not updating this little graph in the status right here. So that was kind of an alarm for me, but it, it worked just great. It worked really nice.